Hey squad, what is going on? Yo, welcome back to the channel. For all my new viewers, wanna appreciate everyone for tuning into this video, locking in with your boy on this one. I wanna make sure you guys do one solid favor for me. Uh, hit the like button, make sure you leave a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel, man. We're trying to hit that 2K subscribers. We can't do that without you, man. So go ahead and do that for your boy. For all my returning viewers, I want to appreciate you guys continuing to rock with your boy, continuing to lock in and hit those comments and all that type of stuff, man. Appreciate it. We're going to keep this thing going all 2021, man. We ain't going to stop. We ain't going to stop. So let's go ahead and get into the topic of today's video. You see the title. You see the thumbnail. No clickbait or cap on this channel, man. Y'all know how I got down in 2020. We're going to keep it rolling for 2021, man. So uh, this is going to be mostly for my new viewers, but if you know, still pre appreciate you guys all rocking with, with me and all that. But I get a lot of questions about the mods and where I got it from and all that. Now, um, I do have a playlist with all the mods I've done to the car and where I got it from. And I did an overview before, but some things have changed with the car. I got new mods done to it and all that. Check my previous videos for all that type of stuff. My previous videos will give you all the information and a more in-depth view of how to put it on, how to put the mods on, where I got it from, and the good and the bad of all this stuff. But this one, I'm gonna do another overview of the mods and everything. Some mods I actually left out on the other video I did. Um, but I'm gonna make sure I hit all the mods on this one and let you know where I got it from and what I did myself. So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get into today's video, man. So the first things I've done to the car, I'm gonna start with stuff you cannot see. Um, with the car, um, what we got done to it, the car is ceramic coated uh, with stage one paint correction that was done by Charlotte Auto Spa. Uh, we got a video on that, so make sure you go back and check that one out. Uh, the, the ceramic coating really helps keeping the car clean and make it really easy uh, to keep it clean, like I just said. So that's something I recommend doing to your car, especially if it's black, man. These black cars are a pain to keep clean. Uh, and yeah, so I haven't learned my lesson every time. This is actually my third, yeah, my third black car. And every time I get a black car, I regret it. And here I am with another black car. So that's one thing that's done to your car that you really can't see. So let's hop into the inside of the car really quick. I'm gonna let you know a couple things you got done there. So we are on the inside of the car, man. Uh, not a lot done to it. The main thing you noticed that I done to the car on the inside was just this piping I put around the steering wheel and the dash and then the center console here. So pretty much that uh, I got from AutoZone. Really, really, really cheap to do. You can get it off eBay. You get it off anywhere for that. Excuse if y'all can tell I need a vacuum, whatever. Um, really easy mod to do. Uh, I didn't do a video on that because it's pretty simple. So definitely, uh, if you want to make change the look of the inside of your car, um, you can go ahead and get this piping and do it, man. Whatever color you want, go ahead and get it. And it would definitely set the interior of your car off. I didn't do the doors or anything like that. I only did that part of the car. Next mod that I've done that you can't see. If you're looking at the car, you see I, I do have a six speed, real deal six speed, three pedal game, you feel me? So the next mod I've done, I don't have the gear shift done, unfortunately, but I did the skip shift eliminator. What that does is with these cars, uh, if you get a certain speed and a certain RPM, it will lock you from going to second gear, right? So the skip shift eliminator, the skip, I can't stop, the skip shift eliminator stops that from happening and it just plugs into the side of your transmission and that will stop that from happening. So if you do have a six speed uh, from Dodge or I think a lot of other manufacturers do it too, um, that is a must to have because I'm telling you, that is crazy aggravating to be driving and also you can't get in the second gear. So got that done. Now, the other one you can't see that's done, but you will hear it. Um, I do have uh, my exhaust system done. Uh, I did the catless med pipes, which are JBA catless med pipes. And I got these for a crazy good deal. I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can show it to you guys here. I don't know if you can get on there and see. Uh, let me see if I can get y'all under there. Uh, I can kind of see it there. Ah, So I have the JBA catless med pipes I got for a crazy good deal. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, man, I'm telling you, I'll be looking for these deals. Uh, I have that and I, my whole exhaust system, I have mid muffler delete and I have the resonator delete. Uh, so there's nothing stopping this thing from talking. I got a exhaust compilation video that you can check out. Um, so make sure you go and check that out. Um, I know what y'all wanna do. Y'all wanna hear it, right? Y'all wanna hear this thing. Let me give it to you. Now this start is gonna be a warm start because I've been driving the car already. And yeah, so the car's warmed up, but I'm, I'm gonna hit it for you a couple times, let y'all know how the thing sounds.
All right, so that's the that's the sound of the exhaust, man. I love it. Uh, people love it. Um, anybody that said they hate it, I haven't met them in person, but man, I'm telling you, the exhaust really set this car off. Um, to finish up with the exhaust, I have four inch quad exhaust tips here. As you can see, I got these off Amazon. Um, I got a video on that as well if you want more information on that. Now, those are that goes through the whole exhaust. Now let's start front to back and show you what I got. So let's go into the engine bay here. All right, so as far as the engine bay, I got the stuff done to the engine bay. So we we'll started at the front and we'll work our way to the back here. Um, so first thing you notice here in the front of the car, uh, I have this hood decal here, which I did install myself. I got this from eBay as well. Um, and I got a video talking about how hard it was to put this on. Um, so I added that on there. A little throwback to the older Dodge models. And also on my windshield, you can see I have the Dodge Motorsports also from eBay. Man, y'all be sleeping on eBay, man. I know people think eBay got a whole bunch of cheap stuff. That's some legit stuff on there. Uh, so make sure you go and check that out. Now on the front of the car here, um, I blacked out this grill. This grill was silver at first, but I blacked it out. I just plastic dipped it. I did that years ago and it's still holding up pretty good. So. That's that. Over here, you see I have my halo rings here, which I got from Op7. Uh, really easy to install that. There's a video on that as well. And I have my air intake ring here, which is from Merrick Motorsports. Um, you get them in any color, a variety of colors. Um, really good way to set off your car by getting that. So there we go there. And let's finish up the front end here while we're here. Have the SRT front lip here. Uh, this thing here is a pain to put on. Very, very, very hard to put on. Uh, I talked about it in one of my previous videos. It's not an install video on this one, but this thing is uh, from, I got it from Steve White Motors. And if you get this, there's also two other pieces you need to get, the closeout panels, there's part numbers for that. If you got more questions on how to get this and get it installed, well, getting all the parts, I should say, um, just let me know, drop a comment below. I'll let you know all the part numbers you need to make this work right. All right, let's get into the engine bay. Um, pop this thing open. All right, engine bay. So, might be a little dirty. I'm gonna clean this up a little later. But engine bay, I got some stuff done here. Um, see, I have the petty strut bar here. If this was actually originally uh, purple, I actually painted it red to match the color scheme of the car. Uh, very easy to put on. I don't have an install video on that, but that's pretty easy to put on. I painted the caps here. I uh, painted uh, the fuse box cover and I painted this. Um, all that i done myself, which I have videos on that. You go check those out. Uh, you see the half covers. I don't have the ugly engine thing on top. So you have the half covers here that I got. These are from 3G Customs. You get them um, with anything on there. Mine says RT. Let me get y'all, make sure y'all see that. Mine says RT on here. And you can get it with anything on there. They can customize that for you. I have a video on that as well. Just walk on here, you can see them. I actually painted these two. These were black here and red there. And I just changed out the color because I wanted the red to pop more. Uh, so that's that. Uh, plus the oil catch can here, which there's, I have an install video on that. Uh, pretty simple install to do. Got this from Speed Logic. Uh, they had a sale on them, so I copped that. Did that with myself. Leg maker air intake here, the hammer version. All carbon fiber, as you can see, and it does lead to here, as you can tell. Let me move my camera up right there. You can see hole there, and the air comes to here. Um, you can get this from Leg Maker. I actually bought this one from someone else because they upgraded from a 5.7 to a uh, 6.4, so it would fit. So I got it from them, but it didn't have this cover. I got the cover from Leg Maker, and all I did was um, I just painted this Leg Maker here to make it stand out more. So that was everything got on the engine, of course. You know, car is complete without having your little decals and stuff on there because you got to let people know when you go to these shows what you got in the car a little bit. Tell the little story. Tell the dragon y'all need to do that. I got a video on me driving that. It's my first video I uploaded, so make sure you check that out. And of course, you got my social media. Make sure you follow me on there. And of course, subscribe, 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 man. So that wraps up the front of the car, man. So I'm going to go ahead and close this down. So that's the front of the car, right? Walk away to the side here. Uh, let's step back a little bit so you can see my car is lowered i got a video on this already as well talking about this i got d2 racing springs um they will drop the car really really low as you can see the front here no wheel gap that thing is squatting and the back here is not as low it's not as low but uh, because of the rear shocks and I, and I talk about that in the video so my car got a nice little stance to it there on the tires you can see i got tire letters uh Got these from tirestickers.com. Install video on that. Let me move this back this way. Move the camera. I'm, I'm trying to get used to this gimbal, y'all. So tire stickers, put them on myself. The video on that. Make sure you go check that out. And the wheels. I get a question about the wheels. These are Viper replicas. Uh, they are 20 by 9. All the way around 275, uh, 40, 
20 tires and no they do not rub my car is low and they don't rub and never rub ever so you should be good with that got the viper replica wheels from ebay like i said ebay got some stuff on there just look for it they got good stuff on there so that's why i got that from next thing you notice my badge 345 hemi video on that as well you need to go check that out i uh, got this from amazon uh if you need more information i'll let you know but i did a whole install video on that make sure you lock in and check that one out and on the side you can't help but see the big mopar decal on the side which i installed myself got this from ebay you get them in a variety of different colors gold blue red green matte uh any color they got it on there man so i did that install myself uh pretty hard to do um i talked about it in another video but that is what i did there black gas cap i had it plastic it before but i ain't went ahead and just bought a black one got this from amazon um easy install to do you can do it probably in like five ten minutes honestly so that's gonna be pretty simple next thing you notice my side mark is here both the front and the back here let's move out to the back they're tinted and i use lux tinning to get that done um i got a video on that it's really easy the, the tent is really easy to work with so if you are apprehensive about tinting anything the side marks are pretty simple to do um, i encourage anybody to do that it really black, helps black out the look of the whole car all right so let's go in the trunk here so, so let me move y'all over this way a little bit they're going to the trunk so in the trunk excuse my stuff but you see here i got this rear strut tower bar from bmr suspension uh, I got an install video on that. If you're interested in getting one for the rear, a lot of people only get the one for the front, but now I went ahead and got the front and the back. Make sure I stiffen up the chassis chass as much as possible. And yeah, this will help me take those corners a little bit faster and feel a little bit more planted. Um, of course, if you go all the way out with it and get suspension, new suspension and new sway bars, it's gonna take you to another level, but this also helps out too. And also, especially since my car is lower. So go ahead, close the trunk, kind of dirty back there. But, you know, all that water just runs right out the back dodge problems you feel me all right on the back you notice you got the wicker bill here make sure you subscribe to the channel right there make sure you subscribe this wicker bill came from uh steve white motors you can get it off of ebay they got a store on ebay you can get it you can get one with the camera hole or without the camera hole um so you can get that uh i'll put that on myself this is before my channel started when i put this on and you can see the uh the washes here, I painted those red to make them stand out a little bit more to tie in the theme of the car. Uh, this badge here, I got from my Amazon. I got the badge from Amazon, uh, just an RT badge I stuck on there to make, you know, just to have something there. I like I like having a little RT part here. Now, another thing y'all may have not have noticed here with the car is this rear spoiler. Even though it's a factory rear spoiler, I actually had to install this myself because my car came with a smaller spoiler and this wicker wheel would not fit until I got the spoiler. So that's where this comes into play. So I got this installed. Again, this is before I started my YouTube channel where that came from, right? Now we're on the back here. Now you see the whole tip, all the tail lights are blacked out. This is from GTS Styling. I got a video on this as well. Really quick way to black out your tail lights. You can do the tint also, just whatever you prefer. Um, and a lot of people ask me questions about the Dodge. The Dodge emblems are still there and it's, you can see them if you're really looking for them, but if you're not looking for them, you're not really gonna notice it. Uh, I don't know if y'all can pick it up on camera. It might be a little dirty, but you can, you might be able to see it a little bit here. Let me see. I don't know, y'all may or may not be able to see it. But you see, I have the hash mark here on the back. This is reflective, so when light hits it, it you know, reflects. Got this from Lux. Um, Ten in the same place I got the side markers from, and that was, you know, that's simple to put on. And I got the rear deflectors blacked out as well, which I got. I actually bought these from someone else because they had them and never used them. I'm like, yo, let me get those. Of course I bought them. I mean, like ten dollars, so let me get those. So that is the overview of the car and all the mods that I've done. Also, decal work. Um, I got this done from Griff's Garage, so shout out to him for that. Uh, the other decals real by custom creations, but I'm thinking about switching out some of my decals and stuff. Like I'm thinking about switching out this one. I kind of like the one on the back a little better, so I'm probably gonna want to switch this out. Um, also, this Mopar decal on the side. I've been going back and forth about changing this up a little bit because I had it on there for a while. It's been kind of my trademark, so to speak, because um, there's other cars that got it, but I feel like this is kind of my trademark because everyone associates this decal with my car. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I'm gonna tell you how I think about mods. When I think about mods, I think about like a tattoo and like I got tattoos and stuff whatnot. Like I think about it and if I'm still thinking about it months later, then I'm like, okay, what can I do to make it happen? You know, so I think long and hard before I do any mods to my car, I don't want to just put some on my car just to put it on there. If I put it on there, I've thought about it for a long time and then I, I go ahead and do it. Or 
or I find something that got a good deal on it and I go ahead and pull the trigger on it. So that's how I do it with my mods, especially, I do a lot of mods myself so I can save a little bit of, you know, a little money there. Uh, some mods I do regret doing myself because of how hard it is, but it is what it is, man. So that is the all the mods that I have done to the car. Give y'all a quick walk around of it. Um, I'm telling you, man, this, this has been fun and all that. And one thing I do regret, man, like I, I started my channel late, so most of these mods are already done. Um, but I will say again, uh, I do have videos on all my mods, whether it is a review or an install. So be sure to go to, I have a playlist for all of that. So make sure you go to the playlist and check out the playlist. If you got any, like, if you want in-depth information on the mods that I've done, man. Um, so that is pretty much anything. I'll try to make sure I got everything. Cause that's all the mods on the car. Like I said, I'm, I'm constantly thinking about what I want to change stuff up to. I don't know what I'm gonna change it to, but I may, I may not, who knows, man. <laughs> don't even know but that's gonna wrap up today's video man appreciate you guys for tuning in like i said you got any questions feel free to hit your boy up i'll be happy to answer those questions for you we are out cut it